We're back with Susan and Maylene. Welcome. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. How did you find Marina Technology Cluster? Is that the first thing? What? What? How mm -hmm. did you get there, and how did you start working with uh, Susan and her organization? Great. It, this is a great question. Um, in 2009, mm -hmm. um, we were preparing, uh, launching our Monterey Language Services. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, one day, I heard it on the radio, on the public radio, that the Marina Technology Cluster um, has a wonderful uh, infrastructure in the sense of uh, facilities, space, and internet. So um, I went check it out, and I love it at first sight. It was wonderful. It's uh, so relaxing, and it's beautiful. Yeah. And the manager, Adam, was very helpful. Mm -hmm. So we decided to move in. And then uh, it has been a great experience. So you started in 2009, your firm, and I see that you have a banner here. Show it. Yes. You know, uh -huh. Pick it up. Show, show the world who you are. Okay. Monterey Language Services. And, and David's going yeah, uh, go. to zero in on that. We provide a translation and interpretation okay. Okay. services. Okay. <laughs> so, you provide what? Say it again. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's um, okay. Monterey Language Services provide translation and interpretation services Okay. Uh, in all languages. Okay. Now, how is that different than the AT&T language line? Two oh. different? Are you in competition? Is that your competitor or one and the same? Not at all. Not at all. Not okay. at all. I love the way you responded to that. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. Tell me more. Yes. Um, we specialize in um, um, technical medical, legal, or marketing type of translations. In other words, it's uh, translation and interpretation type of services that require a um, high level of expertise. I see. In um, all languages? In all languages. We always wow. can find someone who has the subject knowledge and uh -huh. who also um, are proficient in um, uh, source and target languages they are working on. Who would be a typical client? Okay, you will be surprised. In fact, uh, surprise we, me. Surprise you. Okay, we provide a translation and interpretation services to Natividad Medical Center. I see. On a daily basis. So, and you do that over the phone or in no. person? No. In fact, we send the interpreters when the oh. hospital needs us. Oh, yes, I see. we send interpreters uh -huh. over there uh -huh. and provide in-person uh, interpretation. And patients love that. They love to have well, a can see interpreters a around. Line. Yes. Susan, when, uh, well. Oh, don't talk to me. She's good. Talk to her. I, I know. Both <laughs> of you are good. We, and we will. You, you are. You're doing a very nice job. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, which, which you brought her business into, mm -hmm. what do you guys do for her? Uh, well, in addition to providing that wonderful space and all the other things that we're talking about. So any type of mentoring, coaching, things that goes on there? I can tell you some of the okay, things. Okay, You know, the th things that I've done. I mean, when, when Mailing wants some things edited for her website or something like that, I can go through it and make sure that the grammar is all correct in English and, and all of that is well done. And then we can advise her a little bit on, uh, on the marketing language or the, or the marketing but she's really good at that stuff already I can so she can, prob <laughs> she can probably she can probably tell you, you better than i can what kinds of help she's gotten from okay. other okay. people at the incubator so what kind of support do you receive from the incubator yes. and why is it of value to because other than that beautiful space and yes so what other yes. value yes much more than that of right. course okay. yes um it gives us opportunities to network with a local companies mm -hmm. and organizations such as yours mm -hmm. um, and also um, well she's good she, <laughs> yeah, she, she's good she's weaving that in okay I think we're be, be becoming a potential client here very I'm good see, thank you so much okay. if you okay. have okay. a okay. guest you need it. interpretation <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think the best part is um, the motivating and encouraging environment uh, it provides Susan and Alan uh, have been wonderful, doing a great job, uh, you know, to keep the environment really like uh, motivating and encouraging, because um, everyone in the incubator are um, um, new businesses, right. and we have the consensus 
to succeed, the passion to succeed. So uh, I think that is wonderful. That makes uh, Marina Technology Cluster a great place to be. I think one of the things you're talking about, Mei Ling, is community. Mm -hmm. and, and this is sometimes you'll get what people call virtual incubators, but there's no brick and mortar space. But I think one of the things that I found even 15 years ago when I started doing this work that was so valuable was taking some entrepreneur who knew how to do technology licensing and take him over to the cubicle of the guy who needed the expertise in the technology licensing and then let them work those things out together. So people are not dumb. They're not inexperienced. They just need help with some aspect of business. And so there's a lot that the community gives as individuals they give to one another. Mm -hmm. So you've been in business since 2009, uh -huh. right? 2012. Business doing well for you? Very well. Okay. Uh, we have uh, our client base has increased. Uh, our client base has increased significantly, um, a wide uh, spectrum from um, global companies, Hewlett Packard, for example, um, and uh, local institutions like uh, Natividad Medical Center. And we even help the federal government, such as the U.S. Navy, and uh, mm, local governments, such as uh, County of Monterey. So well, they all need a lot of help. Oh, I think, uh, yeah, in today's <laughs> world, definitely <laughs> is a great uh, um, market, yes, and a, a lot of needs. Yeah. So where do you want it five years from today? What do you want your company to look like? Okay. We envision a stronger global economy based on intercultural understanding. And uh, you know, to, in today's world, there's a lot of amazing technology right. that connects the world. Right. But at the same time, we also need uh, translators and interpreters to assist communication and to bridge the gap between different languages. So. Um, Five years from now, I can see Monterey becomes, uh, Monterey Language Services becomes a great professional company that everyone knows about, especially a company that can represent this area locally and also it will be known globally. So I really have a lot of um, uh, confidence in the growth of Monterey Language Services. I tell you, and I know you're going to accomplish. So you are a pleasure. You're full of energy. Thank you. Full of passion. Thank you. So thank you for that. For our audience, yes, you have a website that they can visit. Yes, it's uh, www.montereylanguages.com. Okay, give it to them one more time. Please. Okay, great. www.montereylanguages.com. Thank you so much. Pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you and so continued much. Continued success. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. You're watching KYMB Comcast Channel 19. We'll be right back after this message.